Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for coming to visit me in my own little corner of YouTube. Guys, we are in the kitchen again. I'm in the kitchen. I'm about to get ready and fry up some party wings. Well, some people call them sectionals, party wings. Um, What else? Party rings, sectionals, and wing dings. So I have some clean ones right here. I just got finished cleaning them and patting them as dry as I could. So let me get another paper towels. I already pat them as dry as I could a few times. Just going back over it one more time. I cleaned my chicken, guys, with um, lemon, vinegar, and salt. Let it soak for about, oh, and then water. Part water, vinegar, lemon, and salt. And I let it set for about 10 minutes or 15, and then I go to cleaning them. Dampen off real good, and now I'm about to get ready and season them. So I'm going to be showing you what I'm doing. I already have my hot pot of grease right here, ready to go. And I'm going to test it out. This is how I was raised. You pitch it with the, it's good and ready to go. So I'm about to get ready and start seasoning these up. I'm going to be using my Saison packet, just one pack. Slap your mama. Let me know, guys. Do you like to slap your mama seasoning? I don't see a lot of people using it, but I like it. It's kind of hard to find in my area, but I really, really like it. Onion powder. pepper let me know guys do you guys like to fry up the party wings or do you like to fry up um whole chicken chicken wings what is your go-to i like to do the party wings because it's really really quick and easy also i love my chicken wings but i enjoy frying chicken all together Okay, I'm going in with my mustard. Sorry guys, didn't mean for that to happen, I'm sorry. <laughs> I apologize. It's like deja vu, didn't, didn't that happen in my video when I was doing uh, my spaghetti? And I'm using my hot sauce. And I don't know if you saw, but I did my mustard already. So guys, I'm going in and mixing this up. Since I'm cooking for my own family, I'm doing it. Um, sorry about that. I know that's probably was loud. That was the little thing on top of the stove. If I was cooking for other people, I would use my tongue or I would have on gloves. But since I'm cooking for my own family and I am constantly washing my hands and under my nails, it's okay. But if I was cooking for anyone else and they had a problem, of course, I would use my tongs or my gloves. So let me know, guys, um, how often do you guys cook chicken? Like, I at least do chicken twice a week. Sometimes three times, but I say at least twice a week. I love chicken baked, fried on the grill, boil. I remember my mom used to make boiled chicken. It's actually pretty good when you season it well and know what you're doing. But yeah, I love chicken. I cook it at least twice a week. It's so many chicken dishes that my mom made when we was coming up. I mean, we ate more than chicken, but it was a lot of chicken. And I did not mind it. 
at all. So, okay, I got my chicken all mixed up really good here. So, I'm going to get ready and wash my hands and start putting this in my flour. Well, I have, I um, basically got part, part flour and part um, baking soda. And I put a little bit of seasoning in there. Not a lot, just a little bit. So, I'm going to get ready and wash my hands, guys. But the chicken is well seasoned. And so, I'm going to get it ready and wash my hands. Okay guys, my hands is nice and clean. So what I'm about to do, I'm setting my um, chicken on the side of the counter really quick and I'm bringing this towards the um, front of the stove. I'm about to get ready and hold one bowl, letting one bowl set here and I'm getting ready to hold the other bowl with the chicken. And I'm just one by one gonna put the chicken in here and then I have a clean plate right here that I'm going to let it rest on there for a second. Let me know, guys. It's always a big debate. I always think it's so funny because I never knew that um, you have certain people like flats and certain people like drumsticks. And then you just got some people like, hey, I don't care. Just feed me. <laughs> So are your team flats or team drumstick? My son loved the flats. I mean, my son loves the drumsticks, but he loved both. He loved both really, to be honest with you. But I love flats only. And I thought I was the only one, but I've been like this for a long time. I would eat the drumsticks, but I prefer the flats. My son said he likes the drumsticks because there's more meat on them. I just said, oh, well, that's your preference. But if I go out to eat, I notice now that it's an upcharge if you want all flats. And if I go to my favorite wing spot sometimes, every full blue moon, guys, because I cook 90% at home. But when I do go to my favorite wing spot, I already know there's going to be an upcharge. Long as they um, give me flats and it's cooked well done, well crispy, I don't mind paying the upcharge. But I don't go out all the time to eat, so. And let me know, guys, down in the comments section, have you guys ever got wings from the Chinese spot? I heard they cook up the wings so good. I have been watching a couple of people on IG and here on um, YouTube. And I like how they fried up their chicken. They fry it up really, really crispy and really good. But I noticed something that they do that I was not raised with seeing my grandparents and parents doing or me. After they get finished um, cleaning and seasoning and put it in flour and stuff, they put a little bit of water in there. I thought that was very interesting. But I like, I like that they fry their stuff up very well, crispy, and really good. I'm going to have to try it out. I have a real good Chinese spot here where I'm at. That They say they have really, really good, um, like they fry them up really, really well. I haven't been to a Chinese spot, oh my God, since I was a teenager. It was one in my, um, in my neighborhood where I used to live when I was a teenager. It was very popular. And, a lot, and I always got ham fried rice, and that's it. Maybe sometimes I get the, um, what's that, the little roll. Sometimes I would get that, and sometimes I want It was always just ham fried rice. And guess what? They're still there to this day. Very popular still. 
So I don't know. I may have to call or either go and see if that particular place do the wings. I'm pretty sure a lot of people do the wings now. But yeah, I never, I just want to experience that and see because I never got wings from them. I just like how they make it and they, and they cook it like, like I like it. I like it really crispy. So guys, these is, um, this chicken is going with my leftover spaghetti. This is Saturday. And I put up a video earlier. Well, I don't know when you guys are going to see this, but I put up a video with me showing you guys how I make my spaghetti. And we had leftovers. Me and my son, so I'm eating that today, giving myself a break. It's Saturday. I just want to relax and watch a movie and relax. And so we're going to have this chicken, some fresh chicken with the rest of that spaghetti and do some garlic bread. And that's it. That's going to be dinner. It's gloomy, a little gloomy and chilly here after having a lot of um, 80 degree weather. I'm in the Northeast this part of northeast anyway so it was really really nice for almost a week and a half and it got back cold rainy and gloomy so what can you do you know yeah i said i'm not going to complain because once it started getting really really hot we're all going to be saying oh how hot it is So I'm just going to, I have no other choice. I'm just going to let Mother Nature do what she wants to do. And God, so. When a nice weather come, it comes. I just try to enjoy it. So I'm still putting some flour because I got quite a few pieces here. I still put, um, you know, flouring these up real quick and putting them on my plate. So I'm almost done here. My son is in his room playing a game, waiting on me to get finished cooking. And guys, I hope you guys can see well enough because I'm in my kitchen. I told you guys before, you ones who've been here with me from day one, I don't have a big kitchen. I have a medium to small kitchen. And um, I set up the best way that I could. I can't be moving you guys all around. Because I don't want nothing to be, you know, I, I don't want nothing to fall, break, and all that craziness. So I can't be doing all that moving around these, this camera. Well, I'm actually still on my phone. One day I hope to get a camera, but I'm doing this on my phone still. Yeah, it's been about, what, two years? Two, three years? Yeah. Still doing it on my phone. The camera that I want, they're probably going to have another different version of that one by the time I get the camera I want. And it's not really that expensive, but, well, I put it like this. I don't have an extra $600 or $700 laying around, so I have to focus on important stuff. But eventually, I will get that camera. I will get a nice one. But until then, I'm grateful that I can just use my phone. So yeah, and I don't have no fancy kitchen, so we doing what we can. I'm doing this for my loyal followers that always wants me to cook because you guys always like my shorts videos and my post when I post it on the community tab. So I'm doing it for you guys.
almost done. I got two more pieces here and then we will be all set. Oh, I forgot too. I love barbecue chicken. Fried chicken, barbecue chicken, baked chicken, boiled, grilled. I haven't had grilled chicken in a while, in a long time. But you know what I've been craving, guys, for months now? Like, I don't I don't eat a lot of ribs. I haven't had ribs in a while, and I want some ribs. I want some baby back ribs. I'm trying to wait till some nice weather comes so I can go over to my sister, my oldest sister or my mom. They own their own home. So I can go over there in their backyard and we can all barbecue. I live in an apartment, so for those of you who do not know, I live in an apartment building, so I can't do all that grilling outside. They don't have an area for me to do it at. So, okay, guys, everything is all... um done here this is the chicken i'm gonna let it set for a second let me go um imp out the rest of the flour rinse these bowls out and wash my hands So, okay, guys, my hands is all clean, squeaky clean. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go over this stove a little bit. Because I have some flour that fell. So I'm just going to wipe this down just a little bit. And then we're going to start frying up some chicken. I cannot wait to eat. So I think it's all done. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and start putting the chicken in, guys.
So all the chicken is in there. I'm not going to mess with them. I'm just going to let them do its thing. Let me know, guys, do you cook? Do you know how to cook? And who taught you how to cook? So I'm getting ready to wipe off my seasonings to put them back in the cabinet. But I just want to say, I've been cooking since I was eight or nine years old. I watched my mom cook. I was the kid out of five children, well, six children. I was the kid that always was in the house. I liked the house. I'm a homebody, basically. As long as I have everything that I need, I'm a homebody and the bills are paid, I'm fine. I do get out and enjoy getting out sometimes, but for the most part, I am a homebody. I love it. So my other siblings was totally different. They was either at their friend's house down the street, across the street, you know, or playing outside. You know, I go out there sometimes and play, but... For the most part, I was always at home inside the house with my mom, watch her cooking and cleaning. I play with my dolls. I play my other toys and maybe sometimes watch TV or draw a color. But for the most part, I just I watch my mom do a lot of things around the house. But yeah, my mom taught me how to cook, and I've been in the kitchen with her since about eight or nine. And I just watch her cook different dishes. She's from the South, and she's the oldest out of, I think, 12 children. And they put her to work early. what is your favorite seasonings to cook with all the time or to put on your chicken I bought the um what's that um I bought paprika I got the regular in the smoke I haven't used that yet but someone was telling me to put paprika on the chicken and I'm gonna do that one day but I have never put paprika on my chicken before. I'm pretty sure it's a game changer. I watch a lot of people use a lot of different seasonings and it and if it looks interesting to me, I get it. Like for instance, for the last 4 to 5 months, I saw a lot of people talking about the Dano seasoning. It's hard to find it in my area. You have to order it. But I just looked again yesterday. And it's a few stores that have it in my area. So hopefully I can get my hands on that Dano seasoning um, when I go back to the store. Because it is, I think it's like, to me it's only like three or four. I think it's like four seasonings. But I want the original, the Chipotle, and the spicy. And I think that's it. 
But yeah, I can't wait to try that Dano season. I heard I heard really good reviews and feedback, and I see a lot of people on IG using it. So let me know if you have used Dano seasonings before. I can't wait to try it. I just started using for the first time three years ago. I just started using that Saison. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. That Goya Saison. I like it. I really like it. I just it drives me nuts that I in my area they have been tell people have been telling me for the last couple of years that they do have it in the um in the shaker. The bottles, like the shakers or whatever, containers. But in my area, it only comes in the box and inside a packet. It drives me nuts. I wish we had like a shaker. But I think I'm going to buy a plastic container. Get it from somewhere. Probably Amazon, Walmart, Target. And I'm going to put all my Saison packet. I'm just going to put it in there myself because it drives me nuts, those little packets. But I have really enjoyed, I really enjoyed that seasoning. And I just started using that seasoning literally three years ago and I am hooked so if you have not tried it yet the um Goya's Saison it's really good on chicken it's really good on pork chops it's I have put it on steak too before like I make my mixture like my mixture on the side for my steak. I make it in a separate, like a container, like a little small little bowl with the butter and the seasoning and stuff. Like it's really good on the steak too. But late this year, I wanna say this year so far, I haven't been using a whole lot of it, but I really do enjoy it. I really do enjoy it. I'm just letting them fry up and do what they do and give me a minute I'll be back guys hey guys I'm back I'm flipping over the chicken to the other side now and I'm getting ready to put my garlic bread some fresh garlic bread in my small toaster oven I have but I just want to flip these over real quick I washed up my dishes because I was raised to clean as you cook and you wouldn't have so much to do when you get done but I clean up the uh, my dishes and so now it's time for the garlic bread and to flip these over So let me know how are you guys enjoying the video and how am I doing because I'm only doing this for you. I, I really have to get used to this whole turning on the camera and cooking and videotaping because I just was not raised like that and trying to get used to talking. <laughs> but this is the garlic bread. Just in, just in case you guys did not know how it looks, it looks like this. A 
Let me know, guys. Do you like leftovers? I absolutely love leftovers. I remember um, my ex and also a few other people that I know. They, they was like, I know a few people that saying they don't like leftovers. I'm like, are you kidding me? Leftovers are the best because that's when all the seasoning and everything just simmers into the food. And oh my goodness. I love to put mine either in a toaster oven, regular oven, or if you have an air fryer or the old-fashioned way you can heat your food up over the stove. I love that. I absolutely love that, guys. If you hear any ticking in the background, that's the toaster oven. Also, my son came out the room because, of course, that's what all of us do. When good food is being cooked, you start walking. <laughs> I always laugh because he does that. I, you know, we all did that. You know, my mom was in the kitchen cooking. I, I walked, you know, and then when she got, when she used to bake cakes, because my mom used to cook and bake a lot of pastries, and I always want to lick the bowl. <laughs> and look, it, it totally forgot I had other siblings, so she would let some of us, we had to share the bowl, and then some want to get the spoon, and it was just real fun. It was, it, it was really good memories, but yeah, my son... He's going to be walking around because he smells the food. And he ha I always say he has a feeling that it's probably almost done too. So that's me again. I'm always washing my hands. I have to keep my hands clean. That's just me. I do this all day long, which I don't mind. I just cannot. If I feel anything on my hands or I feel like it's not clean enough, I'm washing it. Plus, when dealing with food, I'm constantly extra washing my hands. I just don't play that. I don't even want anyone in the kitchen. I'm just like my mom. I don't like people in the kitchen with me talking over the food. Like, like I have two different entry ways to my kitchen. Like you can stand at the doorway or something like that, but I do not want people in the kitchen with me. I'm just, I don't, I, I just don't. It's crowded. And plus I don't like people all this talking of the food. We will talk when we sit down and eat at the dinner table, but you can stand by the door. You can pull up a chair, maybe stand by the door and sit by the door and we could talk. But in the kitchen, no. I know it might be strange for some people, but that's just how I get it from my mom. So give me a minute, guys. I have something else I need to wash. Give me one second. I'll be back. So, guys, I'm back. I had to go get me some water and wash up some more dishes that was in the sink. And our chicken is almost ready to come out. I always get me a bowl like this and put a paper towel down in there. That's what I do for the catch the extra grease. That's just the way I do it. I don't have a rack to like let the chicken rest. One day I probably will get that, but this is just what I do for now. And I want to show you guys a chicken. not that pretty but it's really good trust me it's really good and here go another piece that's the drumsticks that's my son he, he can't wait <laughs> he can't wait Guys, I know everyone don't like their chicken cooked hard. Cook your chicken the way you want to cook your chicken at home for you and your family. 
that's the great part of cooking at home, eating and cooking at home. You can do your food exactly the way you want to do your food. That's why I enjoy cooking at home. I can put whatever seasonings I want. I can cook it the way I want. It's hot and fresh. I can clean my meat. I can eat as much as I want. That's the beauty of it. If I want extra, I don't have to pay extra. I can just get extra because I cooked it. And this is the drumsticks that I'm taking out. It's nothing like a like hot fresh chicken, guys. Well, hot fresh food all together, but you know what I'm saying. And show you another piece. And I like to cut off my stove right away. My um, the eyes like I already didn't cut it off right before I'm gonna take everything out because the chicken is done. I'm gonna show you guys one more. This chicken smells so good, guys. I wish you could smell it. Just one more. Yeah, it smells so good. Oh my God. Oh, that one didn't wanna come out. <laughs> Okay, guys, that's all the chicken. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, give me a big thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.